to find the horizontal asymptote, we set the ratio of the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient in the bottom is 4, and in the top it would be 0x. Alright, so when we just have a number in the top, we wouldn't use that. We have to use the highest degree of x. We would imagine a 0x in the top. It's kind of weird, but that would be the leading coefficient of x. So we would set those up as a ratio of 0x over 4x, the highest degrees of x, which would reduce to 0 over 4, or just 0. So therefore, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. To find the vertical asymptote, we set the denominator of the function equal to 0 and solve for x. The reason we do that is the denominator is undefined if it's 0, so we want to find the value of x that would make that undefined. So rearranging, therefore x equals 5 over 4. For the domain and range, it's all real values, but y cannot exist at 0 and x cannot exist at 5. So the range be y as an element of all real numbers and y cannot equal 0. And the domain based on where x cannot exist can exist pretty much everywhere. x is an element of all real numbers except x cannot exist at 5 over 4. That's what a asymptote is.